Okay, now we're going to talk about horizontal asymptotes. So we're going to take a look at uh, some examples in a minute, but first let's talk about rational functions. So rational function, in this case, if you look at this, it's just a polynomial divided by a polynomial. This polynomial has a degree n, so the biggest exponent is degree n. And this polynomial here, the biggest degree is m, the biggest power in this case of this polynomial. So we're going to compare these two powers to come up with our horizontal asymptotes. So it says here in the first case, if n is less than m, so if this is less than this one, the top exponent is smaller than the bottom exponent. We have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. If uh, they are the same, if these two are equal, if n equals m, then we have a horizontal at y equals a, a to the nth over b to the n. All right, so that's just the ratio of the coefficients. And if n is greater than m, we say there is no horizontal asymptote. So let's take a look at the first example. In this case, I'm going to write down here that n equals m because they're both squared. In this case, all we have to do is say, okay, well, it's just four divided by four, right? So the horizontal asymptote is the ratio. So y equal 4 over 4, right, which is just 1. So we here we can say we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. Okay, so that's the first example there. Now let's take a look at the next one. Okay, we now have m, I'm sorry, n greater than m. n greater than m. And let me write that in a different color just to keep with the pattern here that we're using. n is greater than m. Okay? And what does it say for n greater than m? Because this is n is 2 and m is 1. n greater than m says there is no horizontal asymptote. I'm going to write that down. No horizontal asymptote. Okay, that one's important there, important result. And let's check this one right here. Okay, it says x over x squared, right? So in this case, n is less than m. The power here is 1, the power here is 2. n less than m says the horizontal asymptote is at if you said y equals 0, you are correct. So the horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. So let me just fix that. All right. So there we have it. All right. A word on horizontal asymptotes. And really, it all boils down to what is a rational function and comparing the exponents of the leading coefficients. So not much to it for these examples. They're fairly straightforward. Just be sure you keep referring back to this until you've memorized it.